बंभोला शिव बंभोला बंभोला शिव बंभोला प्रेम मगन नाटक बोला प्रेम मगन नाटक बोला बोलो बम भोला शिव बम भोला बम भोला शिव बम भोला शक्ति दुर्गा बोलो बम भोला शिव बम भोला बम भोला शिव बम भोला कौन शिव पार्वती सीता शिव पार्वती सीता ओ बोलो बम भोला शिव बम भोला बम भोला शिव बम भोला कटिक शिव गणेश कटिक शिव गणेश
चलो मन हर कृष्णामा गाते चलो गाते चलो मन हर कृष्णामा गाते चलो गाते चलो 
गाते चलो मन हर कृष राम गाते चलो गाते चलो मन हर कृष्ण राम गाते चलो अब गाते चलो अब गाते चलो अब गाते चलो गाते अब गाते चलो मन हर कृष्ण राम गाते चलो हर कृष्ण राम सदा सुख हर कृष्ण राम सदा सुख राम गाते चलो गाते अब गाते अब गाते चलो मन हर कृष्ण राम गाते चलो तन मन में राम नस नस में राम गाते चलो अब गाते चलो अब गाते चलो यहाँ दे देवा सीता राम गाते चलो गाते अब गाते अब गाते चलो मन हरे कृष्ण राम गाते चलो जय राम श्री राम जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम गाते चलो राम श्री राम जय राम श्री राम जय जय राम गाते चलो ओ श्री राम अब श्री राम अब श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम गाते चलो गाते चलो मन हर कृष्ण राम गाते चलो हरे कृष्ण राम सदा सुख राम गाते चलो मन हर कृष्ण राम गाते चलो अब गाते अब गाते अब गाते चलो मन हर कृष्ण राम गाते चलो अब पति तपावट से तारा गाते चलो गाते चलो मन हरे कृष्ण राम गाते चलो गाते चलो मन हरे कृष्ण राम गाते चलो अब गाते चलो अब गाते चलो अब गाते चलो गाते अब गाते अब गाते चलो मन हर कृष्ण राम गाते चलो गाते चलो मन हर कृष्ण राम गाते चलो गाते चलो गाते चलो गाते चलो प्रेम से बोलो प्रभु राम चंद्र की जय आर शक्ति दुर्गा माता की जय प्रेम से बोलो गुरु रामानंद स्वामी की जय श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय 
राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम कथा हरिओ सिद्धि बुद्धि प्रदे देवी भुक्ति मुक्ति प्रधायनी मंत्रामूर्ति सदा देवी महालक्ष्मी नमोस्तुते ओ आरती चेरेरा मायन जेके आरती चेरेरा
on behalf of members of our executive and members of our mandir i take this opportunity to welcome all of you tonight the fourth night of our yajna dedicated to mariyata purushottam bhagwan shri ram special welcome to our pandits my son pandit shiva maharaj for conducting puja so lovely his bow his patience his mantras are very good may god bless you sir to pandit anand, anand to we finally call her tap kaki <laughs> she her husband and my aja are brothers i have he's like my kaka uh one of our teachers at the vishnu boys hindu college meenat rambali welcome to you to our nows to our kirtan mandali and to you wonderful devotees shub swagatam at this time let us put our hands together let us bow our heads let us close our eyes and let us pray prayer is where we forget about everyone and everything Prayer is where we focus our mind and our attention at the feet of the Lord. Prayer is where we do not allow anything or anyone to disturb our minds. Let us pray. Om Sri Ganesh Ayi Namaha 
sisters of our mandir who work very hard taking the opportunity to sit and to pray with us to them we welcome and to the viewers and listeners of radio and tv charity shubh swagat at this time the devotees we pass over to pandit shivam who will lead the devotees and lead us in prayer dedicated to the devi and mantra chant prem sulo ayu adi shakti bhagavati devi durga mata ke jai Understand the devotees, we clasp our hands and close our eyes as we meditate upon the most potent and powerful form of the Divine Mother as we seek her darshan and her blessings. Hari Hyo Shiva Vacha Shino Deve Pravakshami Kunjika Stotra Muttamam Yena Mantra Prabhavena Chandijapa Shubho Bhave न कवच नागलास्त्र कीलक न रहस्य न सुक्त ना ध्यान चन्यासो न वाचन कुंजिका पातमात्रेण दुर्गा पातबल लवे अति गुह्यतर दे देवामी दुर्लभ गोपनीय प्रयत्न स्वयं नरवती मरण मोहन वश्य स्तंभनोचातनाक पातमात्रेण संसिध्य कुंजिका स्त्रोत्रम अथ मंत्र ओं ऐं ह्री क्ली चामुंदय विचे ओं ग्लौं हूं क्ली जुम सह ज्वाल ज्वाल ज्वल ज्वल प्रज्वल प्रज्वल ऐं ह्री क्ली चामुंदय विचे इति मंत्रः नमस्ते रुद्धिण्य नमस्ते मधुमर्दिने नम कैतपहारिण्ये नमस्ते महिषाधिने नमस्ते शुभहंत्रिय चिशुंबासुरगातने जागृत हे महादेव जपम सिद्धं कुरुष्व मे ऐंकारे सृष्टिपाय कृंकाली प्रतिपालिका कृंकारी कामिण्ये बीजरूपेण मुस्तुते चामुंदा चंदगाते चेकारी वरदायिनी विचेचा पयदा नित्यम 
नमस्ते मंत्र रूपिणी धाम धीम भूम दुर्जते पत्नी वाम भीम भूम वागधीश्वरी क्राम क्रीम क्रुम कालिका देवी शाम शीम शुभ मे शुभम कुरु हुम हुम हुंकार रूपिण्य जम 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 भनाधिनी ब्राम ब्रीम ब्रूम बैरवी पत्रे भवान्य ते नमो नम अम कम चम तम तम पम शम बीम दुम एम बीम हम शम दिजाग्रम दिजाग्रम त्रोटय त्रोटय दीप्तम कुरु कुरु स्वाहा पाम पीम पुम पार्वते पूर्णा काम कीम पुम केचरी तथा साम सीम सुम सप्त शती देव्या मंत्र सिद्धम कुरु श्वमे कुंजिकाये नमो नमः इरम तो कुंजिका स्तोत्रम मंत्र जागर दिहे तवे अभक्ते नैवदातव्यम गोपितम रक्ष पार्वते यस्तो कुंजकया देवे इनाम सप्तशतम पदेत नतस्य जायते सिद्धर अरण्ये रोधनम् यता इति श्रीरुद्रमले गौरीकांत्र शिव पार्वते संवादे कुंजिका स्तोत्रम संपूर्णम ओम एम रिम रिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा 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 ओम एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम एम रिम रिम क्लिम जामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा ओम एम रिम रिम क्लिम चामुंदाय विचे स्वाहा श्री भगवान श्री राम ओम राम रामाय नमः स्वाहा 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 राम रामाय नमः स्वाहा ओम 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 राम रामाय नमः Shri Ram Jai Ram 
Prabhu Ramachandra Ki Jai Tegu Sapanjitu Balkam My brother and also the president of the Pandit's Parishad Pandit Navel, no stranger, but I know he feels good Pandit Navel, Baba, it's a great honor and privilege to have you My dear devotee, Bhagwan Ram Meeting with Devi Sita and Devi Sita offering that prayer that, that Bhagwan Ram, Ram will become a husband. husband. The time, the time came, came that he left the, the bow, he broke it. Broke it. He, returned he returned to Ayodhya, to Ayodhya. and everyone, and was, everyone happy. was happy. And then, and then Bhagwan Ram, Ram, together, Ram together with Sita, Sita had to leave had to and go to the forest, 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 as we listened to last night. And preparing and themselves, themselves to go to the forest, forest. Lachman, as you heard, did not want to be separated from his Lord. And so taking the blessings of his mother, their Bhagwan Ram, together with Sita and Lachman, they prepared to leave Ayodhya. Sumant was called and Sumant was told by Raja Dashrat, these children of mine are very precious to me. I do not want to be separated from them. From them. But do me a favor, my dear friend. Take them to the forest. Show them the forest. But don't leave, don't them. leave them, bring them back. Bring them. And so, devotees so of God, God. Sumant, Sumant, as Raja Prabhu Ram, Ram, together with Devi Sita and Lachman, Lachman mounted on that chariot. The people, the people of Ayodhya, they were looking. They were, looking. They were like they fish were like without, fish without water. water. They were sad. sad. That their that happiness, happiness, their Lord, their Lord the person the that they believe and trust in, was about to leave their lives. Yes, it was for 14 years. But, they, but they, some of them, some didn't of them know they know if they would have remained remain there for 14 years. years. Some don't know if they would have ever seen Sri Ram again. again. So they held on to that chariot. Bhagwan Sri Ram is seeing the love that his people had for him. The devotees. The time came that he had to devise some plan to leave Ayodhya. So he had a mission to accomplish. And as he told Suman, Jao. Shura chale Aaj hamare raam Ayodhya chur chale Chur chale Aaj hamare Bhagwan Ram said, my mission isn't going to the forest. 
आई कैन नॉट स्टे हियर बट इन इशाद सो श्री राम ही ब्रॉट ऑल ऑफ द फ्रूट्स एंड गिव इट टू हिम श्री राम टू कवेस एंड नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग ही सेड आई हैव टू क्रॉस इन गंगा आई एम क्रॉसिंग इन गंगा दैट इज ओवर आफ्टर that this that palace, palace doesn't, doesn't mean anything, anything to me to if i if take I my seat upon, upon this throne, throne i do not know how to rule i do not know how to function for this, for this rightfully belongs, belongs to my brother shri ram and bharat left but bharat, bharat went in the, the forest devotees, devotees. and bharat, bharat as he journeyed and he came to shri ram the mothers went 
somebody people of ayodhya went when shri ram saw bharat come in lakshman thought you know what bharat come in to finish this war he was given ayodhya but like bharat don't want to take any chances he don't want me to stay here for 14 years alone he don't want me to return but devotees we all know the katha is not that bharat honor the defeat of his brother he respected the defeat of his elder brother and after speaking to him encouraging him to return to the city of ayodhya to become the raja prabhu shri ram ragukula reet sada chaliyai prana na jaye varu vachana na jaye you see your word devotees is important when you give your word you must never at no time try to go against that bhagwan ram was from a, a, a lineage of that type of people and you all all of us we came from respectable homes and respectable families that our parents our grandparents our sibling they lived to a standard they up kept their dharma they were rather do without food but to buy the bottle of oil to light the dia or ever make wick you know days gone by simple as wick our grandparents could not afford and you will have a cotton tree in your yard or by the neighbor yard and you can make it but you can take it and you can roll it roll it roll it and you hardly had oil to cook so you put on a little bit of oil but that dia had to light so we had to get oil and sell it dia to light they lit that dia they will take their flowers today we had narmada lingam and all kind of lingam long ago they have a little stone they will put by the jandi and the body the way they will keep that and the way they will respect that and light that dia today we had dia hold they will get a a gipan and they will cut something and they will light that dia and they will sit there and they will sing their bhajan and they will say their mantras and they pray i tell you i come out from that so i know and they prayed and they prayed and they prayed we must not give up our dharma we must not give up our word it's when you tell somebody you're going to do something try your best and fulfill that kal bhaiya when time come to pay back for that you lie down there na and you study you no know, god i do all the good thing you know i so go temple look at my purse that i make you must do like and dance like i play how i suffer think think about the words you give think about the commitment you give think about the promises you made and be broken take about the promises you made to guru on the day of guru diksha and you held the feet of your guru you made a promise to him when time go the body is we forget about that promise we don't care about him anymore take about think about the promises you made to your parents you break it so he was reminded he said i came out from a family like that and if my father stood for something i must continue in that way if your parents stand for something that is important something that is good beneficial try your best not to break that am i told you one night are we in the position to fly the flag of dharma so prabhu shri ram said i will not return but bharat told him bhaiya that shoe is not mine that asan does not belong to me give me something that can be representing you in ayodhya and what did he give him the crown the sandal you know that is important thing to have in your home you know they do guru diksha and you wash your guru feet that slippers or whatever you give to him supposed to remain and you have to honor that every day we want to wash him on face like wash your foot
So here the bodies of God, he was given that. And Bharat honored the feet. That is why the feet of your people, that is why we as Hindus, we bow to the feet of our elders. We bow to the feet of our parents. At the beginning of the drama in devotees, Tulsidhar described the greatness of the feet of the Guru. When you honor that, when you honor the feet of your parents and your elders, humility, never lose that in your life. And Bharat took that. He placed it on the asana. And Bharat said, my brother is going to fast for 14 years. I am going to do the same. Bharat disrobed himself of the kingly garments and he tied the jata. And he went in a place known as Nandikram. And Bharat sat down there and he started to pray. Pray. The Guru and the elders ruled and Bharat sat down there. And Prabhu Shri Ram continued his journey. As Prabhu Shri Ram devotees continued his journey, meeting all of the holy places, people, and visiting all of the holy places, this is where our Katha starts tonight in the Doha. Prabhu Shri Ram decided to do something very important that many of us forget as husbands. Being in the forest, Prabhu Shri Ram decided to pick some flowers. And picking these flowers, devotees, seated on a very beautiful rock. No love seat on it. A little rock, a little stone, seated there. Prabhu Shri Ram picked these flowers and started to decorate the hair of Sita Mata. It is important for us devotees to remind ourselves sometimes as husbands, as men. Because sometimes we tend to forget it. The lady knows she pretty. Sometimes we have to remind ourselves the beauty we have before us. Remind yourself of the beauty that you have before you. Can you see this? There's tree plenty. 
And the moment they start to stray, that's when the trouble starts. Appreciate the person, your consort, your companion. The one that have worked hard. The one that have supported you. The one that is growing old with you. Take time to recognize them. Shri Ram, recognizing the sacrifice that Sita made in her life. Devi Sita came out from a home that had all the comfort. Her father was a king. There was nothing in the world that Janak would have not done for his daughter Sita. And leaving that home, she entered into another home where her father-in-law is a king. But Devi Sita recognized and Sri Ram recognized that Devi Sita did not marry him for his wealth or his position. She married him for what? To be his companion. To be his shakti, to be his power. You know it has something now. If you see the husband have some money or the wife have some money, um, he's go by the lawyer and what do you call it? A prenup. If you want to marry me, you have to sign this. Hmm? And sometimes when you think and you see the love and the affection that we had for one another, and maybe the journey there was a misunderstanding, something, the, 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 the pressure that is placed on both parties, you ask yourself, were there any love there? Look what we have to go through. Look at the fight. Look at the words that is using. Man, I'm going to make you. See, everything you have, I'm going to take it from you. I'm going to leave you a pauper. Overnight, Overnight, the love gone, the joy that we had, the, the company that we shared, it finished just so because of one misunderstanding. Then there was no love. Prabhu Shri Ram recognized, and my dear married people, we must take time to recognize the the, the, the sacrifice, not only as wives, but as husbands we make in our marriages. A marriage, a marriage doesn't, doesn't happen, happen just, just so. so. A marriage, a marriage takes, a, takes a lot of understanding, a lot of communication, a lot of trust. So Prabhu Shiram, he did not wait and say, Sita, he said, we go back and see Valentine's Day, then I go decorate it. I just study something to go in our business for Valentine's weekend. <laughs> Money I go make. <laughs> Everybody want to buy flowers then. And chocolate. Nothing wrong, continue. But don't wait for those occasions. Sometimes we cannot afford their flowers, but you have flowers in the yard. Sometimes the words, the things you could say. You know, every morning you get up and you're watching she had her. And one morning you get up and say, Hi, darling. She wants to know if something wrong with you. <laughs> like you had a bad dream, or? <laughs> You sure he's me, you call it? <laughs> so he decorated her hair. And decorating her hair, devotees of God, they spent time on this crystal like rock. And seated there, devotees, sharing this opportunity. Here, devotees. Last night I had Pandit Prakash with me, tonight I have. My brother Pandit Navin, the guru of my children, the pundit of my home, to sit with this Baba, you do the honors.
devotees enjoying one another company do you enjoy one another company as a couple when you're quoting it real good you can't sleep I remember the days you had to write a letter now we send text remember the days you had to go by the phone boat you ever sit down sometimes and reflect and say, hey, that's the kind of thing I do, boy? When you pass and you get a whole set of quarters, them young boys don't even know about that these days now. Eh? All they have phone. You're driving and you're looking for a phone boat and you're putting your quarter after quarter after quarter. The money done and you're going to look for a game. You sit down in the night like you're studying for English and you're thinking what words to put here. They spend quality time together and spending this time together, giant, the son of Indra, someone who had a great position in his life, who was the, 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 the Lord of the heavens, his son decided to do something that was adhering. Sometimes when you look in society today, devotees, and you see the type of things that is happening and the homes that is coming out from. Homes where family have a status, homes that family had a good name. And I'm not just talking about crime or disrespect. I'm talking about our rituals. These some of the things we see happening in our dharma that families that stood and stand and held hands for the writing. Today, some of us, the younger ones, saying, hey, that is that not a good thing to practice. I always, I always have a conversation, have a conversation with Pandit Navin and I tell him. As far as I know, I know Facebook, Facebook and what's the next one? YouTube, YouTube and thing? It's not descriptive. Not descriptive. So if you're watching if you're Facebook watching and YouTube and thing and they say, that is descriptive and you want to change it, change back one. As I told you last night, Bollywood stars that get paid to make up. So when you see them doing things and you want to bring it in your ritual, hey, Jai Bhagwan, something wrong. Them getting paid, you ain't getting paid, you can sin. And them done, they have a big mansion and a big account. So make sure you do the right thing. So here the bodies of God. Giant. Giant wanted to disrespect the Lord. Giant wanted, he couldn't understand. That because one day his sister, you see, Prabhu Sri Ram, when they were young boys, they were flying a kite. And that kite went up in the heavenly region. And when that kite went there and all were trying to pull along that kite, you couldn't pull it. Because Jayanti, his sister, held on to that kite and she's saying to herself that the person that is flying this kite is not an ordinary person, it's somebody great. For this kite to reach here, remember long time I used to fly a kite? You want to see which kite going high and then put a razor blade in the tail. Hey, all the young boys, put down them thing all the press with all the thumbs so all the time, what do you call it, the control? And start to come outside in the savannah and then a little bit and fly a kite. Start to pitch marble. Sometimes you know when they're doing the pin that down and they tell them, oh, how you pitch marble, do it so. Baba, we don't know how to pitch marble. <laughs> so this, when she held on to that kite, she said, this person who's flying this kite have to be special. So Prabhu Shri Ram, he called him Pavana Putra Hanuman. And he said, Hanuman, I want you to go up in that heavenly region. See who is holding on to this kite. Because although Bharat was there, although Satruhan was there, although Lachman was there and others, Prabhu Shri Ram had confidence. Not that he didn't have confidence in his brothers, but he saw the bhakti love of Pavana Putra Hanuman. You know, sometimes in life you reach a situation and you know, hey, you see this person, this person have my back. 
to take advantage of it. Eh? But this person, I'm sure, will help me out. I need some advice, this person will give it to me. So when Pawana Putra Hanuman reached there, and he saw Jayanti holding the sky, Jayanti, he told her, let go the kite. But she said, the person who flying the sky is not an ordinary person. And the only way that I'm going to let go of the sky is if I get a Sila person. So Pamana Putra Hanuman came back to Sri Ram. He told Sri Ram what happened. And Prabhu Sri Ram told Hanuman, Hanuman, this is not the time. The time for she to meet with me is not now. A time will come that I will be in the forest. And she, and will, she get will get the opportunity, opportunity to come, come and meet with me. Always, Always remember, remember that. that. We, are we are praying after this Navratam, you're praying, praying for certain things. things. All of us have desires. After, after the Navratam, if you, Navratam, Navratam, if you did, not did not get it, do not doubt the Devi, do not doubt God. God. It is not it is just, just our time. time. But you but continue, continue ranging. You continue doing. The time will come. That you will receive the blessing. Bhagwan is one fear God. That he, your prayer, your good deeds, and even the wrong ones does not go unanswered. But when the time reach for it to mature like an insurance and to receive the benefits of it, then you will. How much of it is going to reach 16? Or is it 65? You're waiting. You cannot get it when he's 13 years. You cannot get it when he's 20 years. You cannot get it when he's 62 years. You have to reach a certain age to get certain things. So he told her, wait, have dhiraj, patience. So when the time came, she took her sake, she took her friends, and she danced, and she prayed, and she honored the Lord. And her brother Giant saw this. And he started to think, look who we are. Look who is our father. Look at the family we came out from. Look where, we, look where we are living. Look at the type of home. Look at the type of furniture. Look what we have. And she leaves to go and dance in the forest. She leaves to go and dance with someone who doesn't have proper clothing. Never look down at people. As I said last night, maybe one of our siblings, maybe one of our friends that we went to school with, maybe the people that we are working with, we work with the same salary. Maybe they might benefit more than us. That's their karma. That's their blessings. Do not jealous. Do not hate. Do not cause kuchu. That is you continue doing what is right, and when the time comes, you will get what is deserved. Let go of the ahanka, let go of the ego. Some of us, we are stagnant because of the things that we are holding on to. Something that happened 20, 30 years ago, we're still holding on to that. And the person that we're holding on in our mind, hey, yeah, them going like a Mercedes Benz, and you like a hunter, still, but, 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 but. Hmm? Learn to let go. Learn to let go of ahankar. Learn to let go of ego. Do not hold grudges. Because these things, when you hold on to, will put you in a difficult position. It will make you do the things that you're not supposed to do. Because of grudge. Because of hate. Because of jealousy. And this is what's happening in our society today. Many things are happening on the wrong side because we hold on to grudges. Jealousy, Jealousy ahanka, we hold on to it. it. I know who we hold on it against? against? Our own. The sad thing, we hold it against our own. Our own sibling, our own neighbor, our own friend. We hold on. So giant devotees had this grudge that my sister, look at the whom we come from, look at the family, look who is our father, which was a good thinking, good thoughts was going through his mind, but for the wrong reasons. You know, sometimes if you're going to act and you think, hey, look who is my friend, look who is my brother, look who is my father, look who is the family I come from, I should not do that. Because by the day you do it, but the Navan is a beautiful word, you become a Kalang. You know what is a kalang? 
a stain. And sometimes when you don't act and you do the act, devotees of God, it remains there. And unfortunately, sometimes it remains from generation to generation to generation. Sometimes we perform an act 30 years ago. And today our children are facing that when they go for a job interview. And they ask, because some of them, they require that. Let me hear where you come from. Which village? Which country? Who's your peer? And they see that. All of you may be well qualified because of the act that some member of our family did. They refuse you. So we need to change that. We need to change our thinking. We need to change the way we approach things. Do not, do not some, some, some don't get me wrong, every ancestor them was real good people. They work hard, but God, some of them have some real bad grudge. They hold on to the simplest of things. You have to let go of that. You see, when you reach sannyas, when you reach that age, today when you reach 65 years, devotees of God, forget the pension and the NIS, thank God. Thank God you could move. Thank God you are health and strength. Change your thinking. But when you reach when you that reach age, that don't age, get you frightened. frightened. You have you one and three quarter, quarter foot inside the next side. <laughs> Not just one alone. One, one and three quarter. quarter. Is there any, any time the next quarter go on? But see. The moment you take birth, you don't have one foot inside. And as you start to grow older, the next one piece by piece every day going inside. When you reach 60, 65, one and three quarter. Only waiting for the next quarter to go. Change your thinking. So giant devotees, he went and he decided, I will see. You see this fella? My sister went and danced for him. I'm going to teach him a lesson. And our downfall as men, we look to attack our females. You play macho and appear strong. I put Shiva on the front of you and I see people with that. <laughs> mm. But you look to tackle the females, and this is what he did. Prabhu Shri Ram, he have a grudge against Shri Ram. But he did not go and hurt Shri Ram. He went and he took the form. If the word to Siraj you say, Mandamati. His mind was clouded with darkness, that he couldn't even see the light in front of him. We see his own see shadow. His shadow. That, that mandamati, mandamati devotee devote destroys our life. That mandamati, mandamati confuses us confuse and makes us do the wrong things. things. And he took the form of a black crow, a black bird. Taking that color, black, that to tell you how he was thinking. He decided to go and bit the leg of Sita. Going now and Taking his beak, biting the leg of Sita, devotees. Let us see what happened in the Doha.
happened, devotees? Sita relaxed herself a little bit. She did not run with excitement and wake up Sri Ram because Sri Ram rests his head upon the lap of Sita. But when Sri Ram felt that blood was flowing, immediately he got up. I remember he is Bhagwan, realizing that his Dulahin was hurt, realizing that someone took advantage and invaded in his privacy, he decided to act. And this is important, devotees, husbands. But the Navin will always remind me that a woman must never be unprotected in her life. As a young child, it is the duty of a father to protect her. When she enters into marriage, it's the duty of her husband to protect her. And when she gets old, it's the duty of her children to protect her. And we as brothers, we as fathers, we as male, must always have respect for them. You know, recently a young girl came to me and told me, Pandit, I call somebody uncle. I'm calling him uncle, he disrespected me. That is not nice. You must have that, you must know the line not to cross. Because when you cross that line, devotees, be, in, be, be messed up people's lives. Here, devotees of God, Prabhu Shiram decided to act. And he took a blade of grass. And reciting the mantras, he shot that grass behind Jayant. Jayant started to run all over this place, devotees. When trouble take your life, where's the first place you just want to go? All these good people are not going to trouble, so they don't know where to go. The first place when you do something wrong, you want to go home. Giant went to his father's home. And when he went to his father's home, his father stopped him. And said, what you have done is the wrong thing. You have no place here. What you have done is the wrong thing. Continue running. Giant started to go places. He went to Brahmalok. He went wherever he went. No one offered him not even a cup of water. It is said in the scripture that when we turn our back on God, the food we eat is like poison. Our mother is come like Yamraj, our parents. That anywhere we go, we see the dudes of Yamraj. There is no peace in our mind. You sit down in the Monday and you're looking at the images of Sri Ram, but yet Bhagwan cannot be so keen in us because we have turned our way, turned our life against God. And this is what this young man did. Why? Because he thought he came out from a, 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 a prestige family. He thought he was the best. His father, the, the, the king of the heavens. He allowed the power and the, the blessing that he had in his life to destroy him and his family. No one offered him a rest. He went all over this place, devotees, and no one asked him. Until, and this is why, you know, your guru, this is why you operate when you have a relationship with the Brahman devotees. So, my just get vexed. I have nobody more just get more vexed than a Brahman. We temporary right here. But they are very compassionate. And because of that compassion, sometimes we take advantage of us. He saw Narad. And when he saw Narad, he paid respect to Narad. Narad stopped and said, tell me what is wrong. What is wrong? Look where you came from. Look who's your father. Look who's your family. What is wrong? And when he explained to Narad, Narad said, oh my friend, oh giant, the only way you can get help and be saved in this world you have to you go have back, to back and apologize, apologize to where you started. That's the hardest, the hardest thing for me to do now. Hmm. The easiest the word, word, but the hardest thing to do, to say I'm sorry. 
Sometimes we know we do the wrong thing. But to say, hey, I'm sorry, forgive me. We will never. Mat kare tu abhiman re bande. Mat kare tu abhiman. You see that word, abhiman? It takes away all the goodness. It takes away all the brightness from our lives. Because we think we are too great. Here, giant got a wake up call. Jayan get to check himself, reality hit him. That you are went against the wrong person. The longest rope have I in here. You went against the wrong person. And this, O Jayan, is why you are facing these consequences. He was reminded what to do. And really wanted, wanting to help himself to get out of this darkness in his life. And that is important. If you want to achieve the light and you want to achieve your blessing, you have to accept your wrong. You have to accept I did something wrong. And Jayant accepting that, he decided to go to Prabhu Shilam. He went back to Shilam devotees. And going back to Shilam, he begged for forgiveness. Shama karo mere bo. नात में हो चरणों के दो नात में हो चरणों के दो बस के अब स्वीकार करो मेरे असवो के पो मेरे असवो के पो मेरे असवो के पो he seeks forgiveness, Shama. That Lord who is all compassionate, he decided that he will forgive Jayant. But forgiving Jayant, he had to pay the price for his wrong. God will forgive us. You will be forgiven. Never think you will not be forgiven. But you have to pay the consequences. And the price that he had to pay. The eye, the eye of lust, the eye of, eye of arrogance, the eye, the eye of negativity, negativity was pierced out from him. Physically, Physically yeah. yeah. One of his One eyes, of eyes was pierced out. out. And giant devotee is recognizing that he interfered with the wrong person. He interfered in a marriage. He interfered with a wife. A very, a very strong, strong Shakti, Shakti we are celebrating in Naratri. Our Dulahim is our Shakti, is our power. We are only Pong with Chasan Series, man. If you say I talk to the Padana, when you say play man for me, I will call Karen for you. Do not disrespect our women in society. Honor them and respect them. And women, respect, respect yourself. yourself. Respect, respect who you are. are. You're you are not an ordinary, ordinary being. being. You are that you Devi. Are that Remember last, last night I told you? you? Devi Sita, Sita told, spoke, spoke to the Devi, Devi and, and said, said, You are the you woman of women. women. You are the wife, wife of wives. The way you will treat your husband, the way you will do things. I want that blessing. That Devi is not an ordinary person. And you are that Devi. You are, you are that Shakti, that shakti. You, are that you are that power. power. But in but order to order hold it, it, and in order to order carry your carry family, your family a, step a step further, further you have to be have worthy of it. You have to you practice, have practice, especially when we are when young, we yes, young, we make yes, mistakes, we do things. But, but when you but enter into the grass ashram as women, and you start to do different different stages of life, your behavior, your thinking, your conduct, your conduct have to have change for the betterment, for the betterment of, your of your home, your family. Your family. Especially, Especially when children, children come in the pit here. You have to have think to different. Think you have to act, act different. different. Sometimes, Sometimes it is hard, hard, but you have to be have determined. To be determined. Because, because you have a goal. You have a, you have a you mission. Have a mission. I, know I know sometimes, you, sometimes you might say, Baba, you know much I do? do? And still, them, their head like rock. It don't happen. Don't give up. 
Don't give up. And children and husbands who have a good wife and a good mother, honor her and respect her. Because there is mothers, and then there is mothers. <laughs> Respect yourself. Do not be a disturbance in society, in relationships. Always look to elevate and help. Do not use your power, your status, your bank account, your house, your car, whatever God have blessed you with. Do not use that to think we are better than everyone else. Or take advantage of those who might not have. As I closed, there was this young girl who was driving to work. And one day she stopped by the traffic light. And there was another young girl who was begging. And as she was begging, she wind down her glass. And she asked the girl, what, what are you doing here this hour? She said, well, I had to beg. I had nothing to eat. And I have a brother and a sister. But your parents, well, they leave and they go on. We don't know where they are. And I have two other siblings and I had to hustle for them. So, okay. so you're not so you're afraid, afraid that something, something could happen to you outside, outside here? here? You're not afraid, afraid that somebody could abuse you and take advantage, advantage of, you? of you? She said, yeah, that happened yeah, already. Mm. But, but I don't have a, I choice. Don't have a choice. I have to do, have it. To do it. So she gave so the she child gave something, the child something, something and she went home and she went to the room. And she takes her flowers. And she started to quarrel with God. You know a long time in the movie, you know how to quarrel with God? She started to quarrel. What kind of God you is? Remember last time when even Lachman asked, Avi Data, what kind of God you are? Are you going to rob me of my happiness? She did the same. She called with God. What, what kind of God? Look what kind of world you created. A young child like this going through so much of trouble, so much of difficulties, and you can't do nothing? Then you're not God? And Bhagwan spoke to her. I said, yes, I did something. What you did? I put you. What did you do? God has put you in certain situations, whether in your workplace, whether in your home, whether in your community, whether in your mandir, have put you. What are you doing to better it? Are we using the breath of light to only keep complaining, or are we start to pray? Think, devotees. Think. Society is going astray. Certain things are happening every day. Coming down the road, I told Karen, I said, take up the radio. Because you're only but hearing this one shoot and this one this and this. When it is, when we're going to open, open the newspapers and say, oh, look, look, a family doing something good. Something good. And then, you and know, then some, you of some of us, if something if good happened, we ain't sharing that, you know. The moment we see we attracted to that. The moment we see something wrong, Facebook flooded with it. We share the wrong thing. We never look. Sometimes you get up in the morning and say, I'm going to look at my phone. I'm going to see if I can see something positive. And you see some of your friends share this. They say, Jai Bhagwan. Start to share positive things. If you want positive things to happen, we have to be positive. The peers of opposite makes up this world, but you're in a position to choose the right path. Giant faces difficulties. Bhagwan Ram punishing him. So Bhagwan Ram punishing him now. He continues his journey. What will happen? We hear tomorrow night's katha. Prabhu Ram Chandra ki chai. With us tonight, devotees. It's not just our pundit, it's not just our friend, our school teacher, our vice principal, our principal, but he holds a very important role in the Sanatan Health, being the president of the Pundit Parish. And I just always tell him, but now once I have a good captain driving my train, I in that train. Pandit Navin, very knowledgeable, very dedicated person to his dharma, very passionate to his, to his dharma. dharma. And so Pandaji, it's indeed a great honor and blessing. I think since you occupy this seat the first time you're visiting our Monday in that capacity. And so I will pass over to you to offer your blessings to us. Babaji. That's all bow our heads and pray. Ramo Rajamani Sada Vijayate Ramam Rameshambhaji 
रामेना भी हता निषद चढ़ मूला यतस्म नम रास्ते परायण परतर राम से तोस्म्या राम चित्तलया सदा भव तुम्हें मुद्धन जयंते मंगला काल भद्र काले कपाल दुर्गा क्षमा शिव दात्रे स्वाहा स्वता नमो स्तुते भगवती देवी माता की ऑफिशियत पंडित माय अल्प प्रधान पंडित नाभिन महाराज स्पिरिचुअल लीडर ऑफ दिसराम फ्रेडरिक मंडर What's the branch number here? Yes, the MS branch. Two thirty-eight. Two thirty-eight. My God, sir, Pandit Shivam, Pandit Anand, who is here, the president and the executive of the Mandir, members of group on stage, the hosting family, the family that sits for puja this evening, devotees of God, to those who listen and view us on radio and TV, Jagriti. We, I say Sitaram to you. Indeed, Pandaji has been giving us a lot of food for thought over the past few days, including this evening and beautiful and salient points that are applicable to our lives. And this is what Ramayan is. Katha is meant for us to listen, but it is also meant for us to ponder, to think, and not by any means to inflict pain or any sort of you know ill will. or ill fate in our minds but it is to be used as a measuring stick to reassess ourselves and see how we can better ourselves and this is one aspect of katha bhagwan is said to be sharanagati extremely merciful the goddess is also the same you know some ask the question why are we doing ramayana katha in navratri But you know, in the Chaitra Navratri, there is a beautiful prayer that is called Ram Raksha Stotra. And if you recite that every single day in this Chaitra Navratri, because the Ram Navmi is the last day, then you get a special blessing of the goddess. Bhagwan Shri Ram performed the puja of the divine goddess to secure victory against Ravan. The Devi Bhagwat that is mentioned. that he observed the navratri and he performed the kanya puja to up to secure welfare and success so there is an intricate link between the katha of shri ram and the divine goddess to my pandit of course i want to say god's blessings you have done well you continue to do well to my young godson pandit shivam when i listen to him recite one evening i came home from puja and i have this habit as soon as i come from puja i put on the tv and sit on the couch depending on what on the tv then i'll decide if i stay on the couch and uh, i listen to him one evening reciting the sit kunjika stotram these are truly and with good articulation enunciation and pronunciation this is very very great to see our younger pundits especially and this is what we have been trying to encourage the parishad has undertaken the responsibility and the task of trying to educate our younger pundits young pandit shivam is an engineer and this is the generation and my eyes fell just now i saw a dhola player as he had to play all of these little children waking and you know long time when we go ram and we want to sleep and bond it off and them waking so this is good it talk as well because you know we have to engender the youth younger ones to understand their dharma so that when the time comes as pandit ji made the point prominent families very prominent families we speak almost every day well established and enshrined the families in dharma and they are breaking the laws of dharma in name of convenience and progression that is not progression if you trample upon the work the hard labor and the strong foundation that is laid by your forefathers in the name of progress you are not progressing that is retrograde that is a step backward that could never ever be progress so we build on what has been left for us 
So I want to say to you, Panditji, and to the executive of the Mandir for keeping this yajna. This is what is required. Mandirs have now become the focal point, the central point of, you know, sharing, disseminating dharma, dharmic messages. And I want to commend you. Keep doing what you're doing. Come out to your mandirs. Observe, you know. Long ago, you know, sometimes you would hear sometimes, but now... Uh, one of the, one of positive, the positive things, things about social media, media is that you that get to, to, you know, read all of these, all of these uh, festivities, uh, festivities when you have them, these observances. So you know when Navratri is, you know when Hanuman Jayanti is, observe it, mark it, keep it up, get your family sustain it. And uh, of course, the Panditji and his wonderful troop, I want to say God's blessings. Pandit is like a bigger brother to me. Kaka is calling Pandit here, but Nava is calling Nav. You know? He's a bigger brother to me. He's one. In spite of how knowledgeable you are, when you're in difficulties, you depend on wise counsel of someone. You depend on someone to guide you and to give you a, you know, a good insight and a good opinion. That's important. Who you trust in your most vulnerable moments, that's most important. Don't trust the wrong person. That's why the relationship with your pundit is very, very important. And I want you to remind that. Don't look for a pundit only when you have a funeral. You should not be looking for a pundit when you have a funeral. Your pundit should be the first person that you call. Anytime some family is looking for a pundit when they have a funeral, something is wrong. Something is wrong. So these are little things. Maintain it, continue, and keep up what you are doing. So the president and the executive of the mandir, keep Strong, you're doing a wonderful job. Keep it going. How much years now are you doing this, Yachna? No, nine years. About nine years. Nine years? Nine years. So this is nine annual Yachna. Most temples keep it up. So this is a model for other temples and for, for other families to follow. Get your families into Yachna. Get back to that. We need to go back to those days. That is what held families together. That is what inculcated principles and norms and values. And when we start giving it up, it is when our family falls apart. Pandit mentioned, you have everything, you know, it's not that we are suffering for anything. We have all the comforts, but the moralistic principles and the dharmic principles are falling apart. And we must never, ever let that happen. Don't let that happen. So God's blessings to you. Have a happy and a very holy, a wonderful Noratri. May the Divine Goddess, of course, continue to share uh, divine grace with you. And your families. Ek baat bolo sri Bhagavati Devi Mata ki jai. Prabhu Ramachandra ki jai. Thank you very much, Pandaji. And as we sit here, days gone by, talking about 25, 26 years ago, we will sit and we will read. On them days, we will sit and sing Hasan. We will go to the homes that you know experienced that and so on. Pandaji will read, and I will explain. And vice versa. And we spend quite a number of years together. And what I value with him, no matter how busy he is, at least for me, he doesn't mean time. Panditji, it's a great honor, blessing to have you here. I don't think the Mahasabha made any wrong choice by voting for you. Panditanan, we didn't make no wrong choice, right? As our president, and I know you will carry this flag. No doubt about it, not because sharing a sharing personal, a personal relationship, relationship with him, with him. But, on but on his dharmic side, side and where he came from, came from i know he will fly this flag as far as high and as far as, as he can go may the devi come to bless you bless your home bless your parents bless your guru he always speaks highly of his parents and his guru as you always say without his parents he wouldn't have birth and without the blessing of his guru he wouldn't have the knowledge that he had so Panditji, we wish you all the best. May the Devi come to bless you. A very strong, ardent devotee of the Devi. And may she fulfill all your wishes and your desires. Prabhu Ramachanda ki. To you devotees, once more, thank you very much for being here. We have a couple nights again on Monday night. We will have our Kumari Puja. And on Tuesday morning, we will have our Ram Naomi Puja. And conclude our Yajna. The following Tuesday will be Hanuman Jayanti. And we will have our puja starting at 5.30 p.m. And we are going to sing the Hanuman Chalisa at least 11 times. 
So we look forward for your company to be part. Thank you very much for your support to this wonderful group of ladies. You know, my mother sit here and Merlin is there. She's one of our main chefs that cook here. Marla and Rina, Rina, Avi and they are here to always help. The rest of them are there, they couldn't sit tonight, but they're always here to help and to do things. You know, this come, I have a seat in the kitchen there, and they go sit on my seat and all that. Let's get all the thing. And they say, we're going to check the Patra. <laughs> so, Rina, let's check Mala Patra. <laughs> <laughs> so, the devotees of God, very hard work, and thank you very much, ladies, for being here and continue this part of Dharma. It's an honor to see you seated here to do puja. Not only rolling the laddu and peeling the alu and these things, but to be here. God bless you and your wonderful family. Devotees to all of you, thank you very much. Many familiar faces are here, and we thank you very much. I see a man who brought his whole troop tonight. Right. Manu brought, you know, Manu is one of our strong devotees and his brother and sister and sister-in-law and so on is here too. And I see Sita brought her strip as well. So blessings to all of you, to Navin, mother, his brother and sister, his nephew. Navin is our now, you know, slash decorator, slash everything, anything you tell he to do, he had to do it. And his family always supports us here and they are here. To you, wonderful. Thank you very much. To the friends of on the Chiba, I just tell them and say, you look on in line with them, let had to come temple to And let us come. So blessings to them. Many thanks to all of you. Let us all stand as we have our final party. Hariyo Siddhi Buddhi Prade Devi Bhukti Mukti Pradayani Mantra Murti Sada Devi Mahalakshmi Namostade Arati Sri Da Mayana
Blessings be upon our main slotters tonight and your wonderful devotees, those who listen and view to all of our corporate sponsors. May Bhagavan bless our technical crew and all of our pundits. Prabhu Rakshakar Kripa Karan. Bhura Bhairam Chadu Ke Ya Miriam Me Bhura जानन स्वामी की उमापति महादेव की पवन पुत्र हनुमान की आर शक्ति दुर्गा जगदम्बा माता की प्रेम से बोलो सत्य सनातन धर्म की सकल पंथ के जय जय सीताराम सीताराम